Thank you for watching this video. My name is Anastasia Voronova, and I'm an assistant professor at the University of Alberta, where I lead a research program focused on brain regeneration. A big gap in MS treatments is that we do not have effective therapies for progressive MS, which involves continual worsening of the disease with no improvements. Effective treatment for this type of MS would require remyelination or restoration of lost myelin. Remyelination should halt the disease progression and may even reverse some of the neurological symptoms. Remyelination can be achieved by making new oligodendrocytes, the only cells in our brain that produce myelin. New oligodendrocytes can be produced by a special pool of cells in our brain termed oligodendrocyte progenitor cells. I'm very excited to share our latest findings with you today, which have been published in the journal Stem Cell Reports. This project is supported by the MS Society of Canada. Our study builds on our previously published work where we have shown safety and efficacy for fractal kine, an immunological molecule in non-injured adult mice. In this study, we showed that treatment of mice after a demyelinating injury with fractal kine enhances brain regeneration and remyelination. We further show that this is achieved by co-stimulation of oligodendrocyte progenitor cells and brain immune cells, microglia. In response to fractal kine, oligodendrocyte progenitor cells made new oligodendrocytes. At the same time, fractal kine reduced neuroinflammation. Together, this led to enhanced remyelination. Our results are important for two reasons. First, we discovered a novel molecule capable of enhancing remyelination. Second, our results suggest that oligodendrocyte progenitor cells and brain immune cells may need to be co-stimulated together for effective remyelination. These discoveries will be important for the future development of MS therapies.